Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to Guitar Lele Tutorials. Today we are going to go for the second video of the strumming series. Uh, these are this will consist uh, two very basic patterns. So you may skip if you are already familiar with these two patterns. So yeah, uh, these are just simple down 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 strums and down 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 up down strum. Or maybe you can just continue. This video will be even shorter than the. Uh, uh, previous one okay so we have gone through all the basics of uh, what we have to do how to hold the guitar lele and where to strum and things like that we have gone through that uh, now we are going to go with the strumming patterns and before we go to the strumming patterns one thing that I definitely 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 and every time every time every time I tell is to go with uh, the practice of metronome okay so uh, and another thing is that you tap your foot, bob your head, or maybe you just tap your guitar lele uh, with the uh, metronome beats that are going with that, right? So I'll just start uh, the 60 beats per minute strumming and we'll just do this exercise of um, bobbing our head or tilting our head side by side tapping our foot that's what I am already doing and also maybe just uh, tap the guitar lele along with the beats so that's definitely one thing that we uh, will first practice and then we'll go for go for the actual strums okay and now uh, the strum it should be a smooth one yeah. something like this just some brush not too heavy uh, like not like that and also not too soft too soft that it that you can't even hear so something like that so just keep a medium pace on the strums audible but it's not too harsh on the ears something like that okay so this is the pace or this is the pressure that you have to apply on the strings um, so you hear it first how smooth it goes or how bad it goes it's based upon that you can basically take a decision okay so that's there now I'm just uh, switching on the metronome and then we'll first do the tapping exercise and then we'll go with the uh, strumming patterns okay so I have started the metronome so now let's do our first exercise of tapping our foot so I'm tapping my left foot as I mentioned earlier and I'm also bobbing my head and also tapping on the guitar lele body. One, two, three, four. Okay, so now once you are comfortable with this space and now you can say that okay no I am I am now comfortable so now let's start with our strumming pattern so you can repeat this one you can use a metronome app you can buy a physical metronome but uh, these days for many people just use the um, metronome apps and maybe you can just use a beautiful speaker so that uh, if you are doing it with a group of more people so maybe you can leverage that as well but anyways yeah let's move to the uh, first strumming pattern so our first strumming pattern is just tapping uh, i'm just strumming down strums on all the beats So all the down strums okay so now the second strumming pattern that we are going to practice will also involve the up strums 
the how the strum works so yeah so you just basically strum the brush the last three strings the thinnest three strings okay the bottom most three strings okay so try to do that uh, but yeah it there is no harm if you just go across four or five strings or even all the strings so it's something like this okay so this is uh, all four or five strings this is the one that i'm trying to do so one 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 technique that you can use one trick that in, you can use is that so flip flick your finger like this okay so what happens i'll just try to show you from this side instead of brushing it across try to flick it like this like you're just trying to pick something from this okay so try to use that motion for the down strum you go brush for the up strum you flick so that automatically just uh, just plays the thinnest three strings uh, the reason behind that so for the up uh, down strums so let's say let's talk about the g g major chord right uh, sorry yeah the g major chord so what happens is that the g major chord uses just the thinnest four strings right it doesn't use the topmost two strings the bass strings it doesn't use right so if we just brush along for the up strum so it also plays this uh, the thickest bass string the thickest string that really doesn't sound that much good so that's why we try to play only the three strings so usually those three strings will all be there in all the chords right so all the known chords that we had that we have uh, uh, learned till date okay so for all these chords so you need these three strings so flicking is something that i definitely recommend doing for the up strums okay so this is one thing that that's how to do the up strums now where to do the up strums so up strums usually is between the fillers right so we do this one two three four right so what we do is that one two three four right that's what we are doing doing right till now so what what's now what's now where the up strum comes right so see that so once we are brushing the strings from top to bottom and for the second time when we are trying to brush so we have to pull our fingers up pull our hand up right this is actually your up strum and that's why actually you have to make everything too smooth otherwise what it will happen is that this motion will come and this sound will come so that's why everything should be as smooth as possible as um, fairly spaced as possible so it becomes something like this so it's nothing like okay so that's not what we are going to uh, aim for so we are trying to aim for something like very smooth that goes like a swing motion okay even if you are taking it a very longer time to uh, come up with this smooth motion keep your basics clear okay if you feel that it's no it's, it's not working keep your heat level aside uh, take some rest for 2 to 3 days come back and try to do that so let it take time but don't learn things that that's not supposed to be the way it should be so this is what you are we are going to aim for right now the second for the second one what we are trying to the second pattern for what we are trying to uh, do is that we'll use two down strums and then the down up and then down so basically down 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 up down 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 up down 1 2 3 and 4 1 2 3 and 4 1 2 3 and 4 1 2 3 4 and 4 1 2 3 and 4 okay so this is what we are aiming for 
Now let's play it with uh, with the metronome, and then we can definitely practice once with that metronome, right? One, two, three, four. Down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, down. Down, down, up, down, 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 down. Down, up, down. One, two, three, and four. 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 Okay, so this is something that you have to practice. This is something that you have to practice a lot. Um, try to make it as smooth as possible. So, uh, so it should be this smooth, right? Uh, so there shouldn't be any jerking motion, like so. Uh, it shouldn't be like this. One, two, three, and four. One, two. Three and four. It's not like that, right? So it's rather one, two, three and four. 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 Okay. So practice, practice with metronome. And it's really good if you have anybody. Who can help you? Maybe two uh, two friends trying to play, learn things together. So one can uh, watch the behavior of the other one and can tell them. Okay, so these are online lessons, right? So this is actually a, uh, actually kind of a drawback of online lessons. So it's first uh, it's self paced. So you can that's the pro of it. But the only con is that there is no one to watch you. So if you want to do that, uh, so try with a buddy who can actually help you. So yeah, uh, practice this, make this smooth motions, and then we'll visit new strumming patterns. We'll learn new strumming patterns in our new next videos. Okay.